Hello insiders, new slash time. First item, the option to use the classic upload flow will be removed soon. Uh, obviously the new upload flow has been the default upload experience for quite a while, but on Monday we removed the escape hatch to the classic upload flow for about 10% of channels and we'll get to about 100% of creators by the end of this month. Um, so if you have any comments about things in the new upload flow that you think are missing from Classic, uh, let us know in the comments below. The biggest feedback we got in the past was uh, bulk uploads, but we had that a few months ago. So most creators are using the new upload flow, a very small percentage are using Classic uploads. So hopefully that won't be a big change or surprise for anyone listening. Next, just a gentle reminder to enable two-factor verification for your channel, it will reduce the risk of it getting hijacked, you'll sleep better, just takes a couple minutes to do it. Link below for instructions on how to enable it. Next, we're more restrictive for promotion of products containing nicotine and THC, which includes vaping. Uh, so these will be age restricted. There is uh, an exception if it's uh, educational, documentary, scientific, or artistic. Uh, link below for more information. We've seen some creators encouraging viewers to repeatedly click or watch ads in videos as a way to raise money for nonprofits. While we understand this is being done with very good intentions, it's actually a violation of our fake engagement policy. So creators should use approved fundraising options instead. Link below on how to do that. We're making it easier for viewers to find live streams on YouTube by adding an entry point to an improved slash live destination on the Explore tab in 21 markets. We are removing the Stories channel page due to low usage and to focus our efforts on building new Stories features. Not to worry, there shouldn't be any noticeable impact on Stories views since less than 1% of Stories views came from that Stories channel's page, and Stories will continue to be viewable on home, under videos on the watch page, and on the subscriptions feed. Next, Ariel touched on this briefly in his interview with Jackson Bird a few weeks ago, link below for that. But I wanted to remind creators that if there are ads you would prefer not to be shown on your channel, you can update your preferences in your AdSense account by going to the blocking controls tab. You can block specific URLs like you know, mychannel.com, general categories, sensitive categories. If you wish to block URLs, you should consider blocking the top level domain, for example, example.com. This will block all ads that lead to subdirectories below that domain like example.com slash forums. Keep in mind these changes may end up reducing your revenue because you are blocking full categories of ads. And if you wanna learn more about this or how to report bad ads, um, check out the link below for more information in the description. On June 9th, premium and music premium subscriptions will be made available to new markets like Belarus, Egypt, American Samoa, Aruba, Bermuda, Cayman Islands, French Guyana, French Polynesia, Guadalupe, Guam, Northern Mariana Islands, Papua New Guinea, Puerto Rico, and the US Virgin Islands. This means more people can subscribe to premium and if you're monetizing your channel and you look in YouTube analytics under revenue, there's a report that shows you revenue from ads and revenue from premium. Revenue from premium might be uh, actually a significant part of your portfolio at this point, and it's a nice way to complement the money you're getting from ads and other sources. Next, Susan, our CEO, has posted her latest letter to creators, which provides more information on the actions that YouTube is taking to promote racial justice and support the black community on the platform. Uh, the letter addresses other issues as well, including updates on our responsibility efforts, learning and monetization. Link below for Susan's letter. And lastly, or almost lastly, the winner from last week's trivia. The trivia question was, what was the most popular video that uh, we had on Creator Insider out of our first 10 videos ever? 
And the answer was a video called Tom's Take Intro. This was when we were still uh, experiment and weren't sure <laughs> how the channel would go. And we just tried to explain what we were trying to do. So congrats to Marco JP VE for being the first to identify that popular video out of our first 10. New question in July of 2017. So uh, almost three years ago, how many subs do you think the Creator Insider channel had? You can round it off uh, to a nice even number. But uh, first to guess correctly, we'll get a shout out in the next news flash. Now is the last item. I have kind of big news for, for me. Um, this will be my last news flash that I'll be shooting uh, for Creator Insider. As is the custom with many Googlers, I am gonna be changing projects. So it's very common for Google employees to work on a project for a few years and then move to another part of the company. And so I'll be doing that. Uh, we'll no longer be working on YouTube. So unfortunately, won't be able to uh, shoot these fun news flashes anymore. But uh, it has been quite a ride. And, uh, you know, I feel a very strong uh, connection to all of you creators out there and um, very privileged to have had the opportunity to you know, just guys tell you guys what's going on and give you uh, a little more color and context and also to learn and hear from you on your feedback. Uh, certainly, I don't know how many times you guys had to put up with me telling you that Classic Studio is going away, but every time you commented about things you, you know, wanted improved in YouTube Studio, like that definitely helped our product development. Um, I think it's been a really productive last few years in terms of our connection, um, but the channel will be going bigger and stronger uh, in the future. So while I might be moving on, the Creator Insider ain't going anywhere. Uh, we have all of the hosts that you already know and love, and we'll probably have some new faces showing up soon, and we'll have kind of a rotating panel of, uh, of folks that you can get to know and that can learn from you as well and share their perspective on you know what they're working on and. What's the latest uh, going on at YouTube? One housekeeping item, we do shoot in batches. Um, so you might see me in subsequent videos, but uh, that's just because we shot them in advance like many of you do, and uh, it didn't get scheduled to be published until a little bit later. Since this is uh, my last video and, that I'm shooting, and I'll be moving off of YouTube after four years uh, on the product management team for uh, Creator Tools, I did want to share three things that, uh, that I've learned that sometimes I share with other people when they ask me about becoming a creator. The first thing is make sure you make videos about stuff you're truly passionate about. So in some ways, you know, your YouTube channel is, is like a startup. It's like your business. And startups have peaks and valleys. And if you're working on something that you don't really care deeply about in your bones. When you have those rough patches, it'll be really hard to keep going. So you gotta really work on stuff that you you care so deeply about that even if only a handful of people saw the video, you'd feel like, no, you know what? That was still worth my time. I'm very proud of the output. The second thing is uh, really enjoy the journey. It's great to have lots of subs and if you're monetizing, you know, make some money. But I think the magic of YouTube is the ability to connect with people all over the world about uh, a topic or point of view or passion that, that you all share. And it is you know, very much that connection between creator and audience. Last thing, a little more technical, is to think about the what I'll call the four rings of YouTube channel success. Uh, the first ring we talked about, which is make it something that you're really passionate about. The second ring is um, make sure it's about something that, where there's really strong uh, viewer demand and that you could see people wanting to watch videos about this topic for you know months and months and you know ideally years and years. It's something that really there's like deep interest from viewers. The third is that the current supply of content out there that's addressing this need you feel like you could bring a very different perspective or you could uh, do it in a way that's much fresher or newer or better or, uh, so that it can really compete well 
when viewers are considering all of their options for you know that what they want to watch next. And then lastly, uh, the the last ring is make sure it's around a topic that you can consistently produce content for a long duration. So there's enough kind of angles and different um, video ideas around this topical area that you can keep going at it and, and stay fresh. So if you find something where all four of those rings overlap, generally you're, you'll probably have a lot of success and you'll definitely have a great time. With that, I'll just say thanks to everyone who in the very earliest days uh, supported our channel. Uh, it was a leap of faith and we started the channel during a pretty turbulent time in terms of, you know, a lot of creators are really fired up about a, a variety of topics and um, it wasn't clear that it was a great time to put ourselves out there, especially since our production values are, you know, a little bit more rough around the edges and continue to be, as you can see. Um, but hopefully uh, it's been useful and really appreciate everybody who encouraged us along the way. We're definitely um, going to call this experiment a success and we're going to try and grow it and make it even more useful to creators uh, going forward. So stay tuned. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. This is a great channel to learn more stuff. And the last thing I'll say is if you want to say goodbye to me as a host, as a favor, go ahead and like this video. Uh, our news flashes usually only get a few hundred likes, but let's see if we can get a few thousand just for old time's sake. Um, with that, I will say one last time. <clears throat> Wow, that was weird. <clears throat> Jesus. With that, I will say one last time, keep it real. Hello, Insiders Newsflash time. This year, what the fuck? <laughs> First newsflash of 2020. Blah, 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 blah. Hello, Insiders Newsflash time. Page on mobile. Why do I have these earbuds in? Well, I started with them in. Might as well keep them in. Users often think of their videos when... Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck state is it? Shit, I don't even know anymore. Shit. He must be talking about... Re <laughs> shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right, Lauren, you got to cut a bunch of this shit out. So uh, we'll start the interview now. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Your signal is coming in five by five. All right, here we go. Five by five, baby. Five by right. five. I don't know what that means, but good. Let's do it. It means crystal clear. How, how's the background? Japan, Korea. The hell's IE? I don't know. Ireland? I don't know. What the fuck IE is. I'm going to guess it's Ireland. Don't make no sense. Okay. It's Friday. Dun, 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 dun. That. Hey guys, can you keep it down? <laughs>